Hi everyone, how are you? Happy Friday, uh, TGIF, I think for a lot of us. Uh, I'm very glad, I'm very excited to be here and I just wanna thank you in advance for being so supportive and for being part of the Vintage Meat Modern community. And right now it's a really, really fun time. Uh, it's time for us to kick back and relax. I'm kind of calling this like wine meets jewels and pretty in pastel. So if it is your first time joining us, welcome. Uh, please go ahead and say hello in the comments and let me know that you can hear me okay and that you can see me all right. And then we will go ahead and we will chat about some fun ways to wear very pretty jewelry with very pretty pastels. Hi, how are you? So yesterday, uh, we did a really great segment on what to wear with pink and the lovely Jennifer Dodd, who's in our group, said that she would love to hear some recommendations on what kind of jewelry and accessories to wear with pastels. So I went ahead out and I pulled out some of my favorite discussions or some of my favorite suggestions. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell you a little bit about why. Now, pastels, uh, for some people, some people find them to be very difficult to wear uh, based on your skin tone. And then, of course, certain times pastels are also considered to be uh, more flattering. Uh, and other people really like being able to wear more dark colors and more light colors. Well, one of the fun things about pastels is that they are a great accent to either be worn as an accessory or they are just really, really lovely Um they're just really, really lovely in order to be able to add as an accent color. Now, I actually do not always wear a lot of pastels. Uh, as you can see, based on my own skin tones and my own undertones, uh, for the most part, I tend to wear more brighter, more vibrant colors. Uh, they tend to stand out on me more. They highlight my eyes a little bit more. But I do wear pastels pretty frequently. Uh, and I do wear them also very frequently during the spring season. So let's see, we've got Alicia's here. I hope you're doing well. I'm drinking at Starbucks while we watch. Fantastic. Uh, hi, I wish I liked wine. I'll take a bubbly cider instead. That all works, like I said. Whether you're making yourself a decaf uh, frappuccino right now or you're indulging in a seltzer water, maybe you're just drinking a little bit of water with some lemon. Lots of people drinking some elderberry syrup right now and their lemonades and then their teas. So I totally support you in whatever you're doing to wind down this evening. Uh, and I hope that we can actually just kind of chat and just have some fun with talking about some jewelry right now too. By the way, like I said, we do have our 25% off sale that's going on site wide right now. Uh, that's something that we were working on and we were doing with Afterpay. So you can go ahead and take advantage of that if something catches your eye. Everything that is on the website is 25% off, including the designer pieces. And there's no code needed. So I made it really, really simple and really easy for you. That's what we had talked about behind the scenes with Leanne and stuff. We like making things super easy. So back to talking about pastels. This is a very, very light pastel blue. Uh, the other day, if you saw, I did a little unboxing and these are a very light lavenderish pink suede pumps that I got from J. Crew, made in Italy, secondhand first always. I have a little lilac duster on, uh, sort of blouse style uh, from Ann Taylor, one of my favorites in this go-to. And then I recently, because my daughter received her first holy confirmation, I decided that I was going to get this really sweet little short sleeved blazer, which is actually from L uh, from Kohl's, because I figured it would be perfect to wear during the spring seasons. And then I was going to wear it again for Easter. So this is a pastel jacket that is like a white boucle. You know, I always love anything that falls into that boucle style because it's got that very Chanel high end feel. And this one does have a lot of pastels running through it. So if you caught earlier when Deborah Morgan was commenting, she was saying I wear more dark colors, but I always like the pop of being able to add pastels and accessories. So these are my suggestions for if you wear a lot of pastel colors, what kind of jewelry I think naturally complements it. And so I'm going to start off by saying right away that anything in the white family or in the milk glass style is obviously very complimentary to being able to wear pastels. 
And for those of you who might be looking for a few really fantastic pieces to just invest in your collection over and over again, remember the white enameled or the white milk glass pieces are never going to let you down. So I've got on the white brooch here that is from Vintage Crown Trafari. Uh, we also have got a white enameled bracelet that is from Crown Trafari. And you can see how easily it is that even when you're wearing those pale tones, that if you're looking at maybe investing in a few different kinds of pieces or just something that you can wear with both your darker colored clothes and with your pastel tones, I always think investing in a couple of really great white pieces or investing in a few milk glass pieces are always so really great ways to be able to accessorize your pastel colors. So white is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, this is a really great piece. Uh, like I said, I've got on this shorter sleeved blazer, which I was really excited to find because it's like a three quarter length sleeve. So that's always really, really easy to be able to put with your different kinds of bracelets. Now, there are other great pieces that we have that go along with the white. If you saw earlier today, I actually had pulled out that pump in the um, in the flat lay image that I did earlier. And so these are kind of like a little lavender, like a light lilac suede. And using this as an example, you can see how easy it is to be able to accessorize with things that have obviously the same sort of pastel colored shading in it and bring out one of the pastel colors that you would see in whatever the solid color that you're wearing. So in this case, we're showing off the way that the pink is bringing out sort of that dusty pinkish lavender color that's part of these suede shoes. But it's very complimentary in order to be able to mix the pieces from the color wheel and that light mint or that light blue shade too. So this is another really easy example of how to accessorize your pastel colors as well, is to pick something that has that pastel undertone and then pick something that has the same sort of complementary colors in it in order to really be able to have a very dynamic sort of standout look but that softer look that we're all looking for when we're going ahead and we're putting on pastel pieces so that's well and that's what i mean so a lot of people they even say like well i don't wear clip earrings there's lots of fun things that you can do with the clip earrings you know if you're careful and you just go ahead and you clip them on um it's really easy to be able to turn a pair of clip earrings actually into a shoe clip so that's one suggestion that i have and that's another way to very easily be able to accessorize your pastel colors now Besides white, obviously another suggestion that I love and everybody keeps saying to me today, well, it's Fashion Friday and you really seem to be pushing that Chanel necklace, but there's a reason for it. You know, I put up that Fashion Friday collage this morning, uh, which was an actual ad from the 1980s, which actually had the exact same look um, with the actual pieces that is featuring that we have with the vintage Chanel bezel set necklace. Now, this is always a really great piece to be able to wear very classically with your pastel colors. You know, pearl and crystal is never going to let you down, regardless of whether you're wearing it with darks and solids. I mean, I had this on yesterday with hot pink, which was a very vibrant color. You know, I've showed the same sort of style on olive green, with gray, with black. And that's sort of the fun part of being able to accessorize pastels is if you're putting pearls with it, the pearls really do go very nicely with pastel undertones too. Pearls always have that luminescent glow. So whatever you're putting them with, especially that soft glow that we get when we're talking about pastels, pearls and crystal are always a good option. Now, if the Chanel is not fitting your budget or it is not your style in terms of the length, there are other pieces that take on those same pearly undertones with the crystals that you could wear as well. So for example, we did have those little pearl daisy earrings that I was showing you yesterday. These are those little pearlized thermosets. Uh, they're set like pinwheel style with the riveted backs, and then they have the crystals inside. So even though we're showing you the looks of a haute couture piece with the pearls with the Chanel piece, keep in mind this 1950s piece is actually a predecessor to these particular materials being put together. So a classic like this is never really going to go out of style. So it's very easy to be able to mix your classic pearl jewelry with your classic pastel tones as well. So that's another great thing. And then again, like I said, using the shoes as an example because it's got the solid colored suede, you can see how easy it is to be able to accessorize your pastel tones with the pearls and the classic crystal look too. 
Moving along with that, you can always also make other pieces that have pearls with them work with your pastels as well too. So this is a pearl button earring that has got a light pastel with a rose and then sort of a citrine color. And this is a really easy one to be able to wear with your classic pastel tones as too. So again, it kind of depends on what sort of color pastels that you want because the pastel rainbow is really the same as our primary rainbow too. It just has different hues that are in it. So it's very easy to be able to wear the classic pearls with both your more bold colors and to be able to wear with more of your classic pastel undertones as well. Using this blue periwinkle shirt that we have as an example, you can see how pretty it is to be able to still be able to put the pearls and then this has that hint of pink that's going along it as well. So it's very easy to also be able to mix this with your lighter shades as well. Today I have on, obviously, I'm playing up on the pink pinks and the purples by what's going on in the pinks and the purples of the jacket. But that doesn't mean that you can't be able to mix these same sort of complementary colors with either a blue or a mint or a very light aqua shade too. They're all going to work together very nicely. Speaking of that, let's talk about that. So we also have this bracelet that also was just part of our last collection. And this one does remind me actually of kind of like a bag of Easter candy. Uh, maybe those little malted robin eggs that you see. It does have the blues. It has the pearls. It has the light green. It has sort of a rose undertone. And as you can see, this is another example of picking pastels that are going to go ahead and complement the pastel color. In this case, we're working hard to have the blue be the subtle color and letting the pink and the pearl be the one to really pop as the contrast. But that's not to say that if we didn't go ahead and put this against, as we're seeing here on me, using myself as an example, you can see the way that the purple and the green and then the pearls stand out against a different shade. Then going ahead and going against the boucle, what you're gonna see is that when we're putting this against the regular pastels, what's happening is, is we're seeing the pearls and the accent of the gold actually stand out the most because you're picking up on all of the patterns of all of the colors that you're seeing in the boucle style. So there is an example of how you can easily pick up a pastel colored piece of jewelry and have it be more subtle depending on the combination of the fabrics that you're putting this with. If you're putting this with something with a soft pattern, it's going to complement the entire pattern and give you a more uniform look. If you're putting it against something that's more of a solid, you're going to see the different shades pop out against those solids and certain ones become more part of that color blocking style. But that's not to say that with these types of materials, when we're picking things, this has got more of a little bit of a fun, playful look. But for those of you who really like embracing those styles that has the sparkle, you know, remember, Hollycraft was known for their pastel settings of their rhinestones in the 1950s. So this is that lovely O bracelet from Hollycraft from the 1950s era. And you can see the way that with this, you're getting that same pastel sparkle, but it's really popping. Whereas when we are looking earlier at the same sort of similar styling and colors, this is more of a soft, playful feeling to it. And this has more of a dressed up, let's catch the eye look when we're putting things together. So this is another great option for those of you who love being able to wear pastels. Isn't that pretty? I mean, it's just a completely different look, you know, and we've already gone through and we've talked about how you can have three different styles. You know, this one has got the pastels with the beads. This reminds me of something very fun and flirty, um, sort of like a very similar Kate Spade style. For those of you who stroll into J. Crew, like I do pretty frequently, and you get caught by the fact that they've got sparkly rhinestone jewelry that they pair and they mix with their cashmere sweaters, or even when you head on over to Anthropology and I was looking and they have lots of great pieces with lines and stripes right now, you can easily add a touch of sparkle to it. And for those of you who like something that's just really neutral and very classic that goes with everything, there's always that option of putting the white enamel or the classic milk glass. So lots of different ways to easily be able to accessorize your pastel colors. And keep in mind that all of these will go with all different shades of pastels. So if you're putting this with your rosy undertones, that's a great choice. If you're putting it with your blue undertones, that's a great choice. If you're looking for the soft green, these are all excellent choices that you can go ahead. 
Yes, so you have been doing the mobile order and hitting the drive through to pick up, but I've been leaving bigger tips. Yes, you know what? I'm going to just comment about that quickly. I know people said that they were like paying for food orders for other people and everything like that. Behind the scenes here at Vintage Meat Modern, we are both supporting our local businesses. Uh, in terms of things, I picked up the most beautiful cupcakes for the kids later uh, from my local bakery that's my favorite. And then also that we have been tipping extra the people who have been working at like the drive throughs and things like that because they're working so hard to keep everybody healthy right now. So I'm just very, very grateful for so many people coming together as part of our community. So don't forget Pearl. <laughs> is one option uh, to be able to wear with pastels. Uh, we talked a little bit about pearl and crystal when I was talking about that vintage Chanel piece. Uh, another one is a great piece and a great suggestion is pearl and Aurora Borealis. So Aurora Borealis is also an excellent choice to be able to put with your pastel jewelry. I am a huge fan of this particular pearl necklace for those of you who are Mrs. Maisel fans. Uh, remember Imogene is Midge's best friend and she wears several really great classic suits. She's also a blonde and she wears a lot of pastel colors and vibrant shades of them. So we've got our subtle pastels and then our brighter pastels. So she wears a lot of brighter blue pastels and a lot of brighter pink pastels with her blonde hair. And she wears a lot of real double strand necklaces. And you can see how beautiful the sparkle is with this double strand pearl necklace. Now, another reason why I'm a big fan of this one is, is because these pearls are not shiny. They're actually a matte finish. So this is another one that's a really, really great piece. You know, it does have that real, oh, I know, everybody loves Mrs. Maisel. I mean, and I hope that you're all catching up on your fun uh, pieces right now. If you follow, I think it's Desbirian Vintage as well. She's a vintage clothing dealer. She just shared a pair of vintage like very colorful pumps uh, from the 1950s. And she said, this is another pair of shoes that's off to Mrs. Maisel. So for those of us who always get excited over the fact that there's more Midge coming, uh, I obviously if they're buying things for the costuming department, we've got some other fun episodes to look forward to. Plus we got to see what happened to Midge at the end of last season when she's there waiting on the tarmac. Mm. Cheers to all of you. Remember, I said, this is why meet jewels now tonight. It's Friday. Kids are home. Kids have been home all week long. Um, everybody's kind of making it through and stuff. So after this, we'll be having some pizza and some family time. Uh, and of course, I'll be still wearing pastels. So we have got this very lovely double strand pearl necklace uh, with the faceted Aurora Borealis crystal. And Aurora Borealis is another really excellent, I have never watched Mrs. Maisel and I need to take some time to watch it. I just have not been watching it while I've been working on my dissertation. Yes, you'll binge watch it if you get hooked on it. But Mrs. Maisel is just a really wonderful show. Um, I love the way that Midge questions things in our world, the way that women question them too. So, I mean, she does a very, very good job. So, and the costuming is just spot on. I talk frequently about how that women of distinction, it was considered to be so elevated in order to be able to own all the pieces of a set. And Rose, her mother, always has the necklace, the earrings, the brooch, everything matches perfectly uh, on her. It's just such incredible costuming and just really, really great designs. Um, there is an episode at the very beginning where she's talking about how she went to Saks Fifth Avenue and that uh, the dress is from Jacques Fath. And my husband goes, do you know who that is? And I was like, are you kidding me? Of course I know who that is. So this is another great example of things to be able to go ahead and wear with pastels as I'm getting off topic here. Uh, pearls are always great. Aurora Borealis is always great. It's one of those ones that's that magic color changing stone. So you can always feel really good about putting it with whatever you're going to put it with because it's going to take on whatever colors that you do go ahead and put it with. So I really like this as an example of something that's an alternative to doing something like the Chanel piece earlier as I'm putting things down. I don't know my, I don't know my pink pads of jewelry out over here. And you can see the way that how that this takes on a completely different tone when you go ahead and you put the blue behind it. 
So this is another really easy way to be able to accent. And also don't forget, this looks very classic, again, with your neutral tones. So this is also a really fun necklace. I had been talking a lot about how that I wear polka dots, which is true. I do wear a lot of polka dots. This is a great piece to be able to put with both your green and white polka dot, your classic black and white polka dot, your classic yellow and white polka dot. Even this looks really nice with navy and white polka dots. So this is a great necklace to be able to invest in whether you're wearing pastel colors or you're wearing neutral colors, or maybe you're even gravitating more towards your brighter primary colors. A really, really fun one and a great find as well. And it goes very nicely with just your classic Aurora Borealis pieces. All right. I would also love to point out that any of the pieces that we have that are obviously with the classic rhinestones and pearls, the Art Deco styling, I showed this medallion brooch yesterday with how fantastic it looks with hot pink, but this is another great piece to be able to accent with your pastel colors again too. So this is actually a really nice brooch, which, and we've also shown this blouse many times. Uh, this one has a higher necked collar on it. This is something that I picked up at Nordstrom Rack several seasons ago. So this is something that I've had in my closet for quite some time. And I always love talking about that trick of being able to wear brooches at the center of the neckline uh, so that you can wear it kind of in place of a necklace. And so that's actually why I picked this particular piece up because it's easy to put this right in the center and the neck is high enough that you can wear the brooch in the center sort of medallion style. But as you can see, this is a very light, very soft color blue. It falls in that pastel blue family. And this is always a really easy, like great, just standout classic piece to be able to put with your pastel colors. So you can easily be able to put this with your, just your blues. If you're picking up something that has lots of different shading in it, you can still see this looks very nice against pinky, dusty lavenders. And of course, you can always be able to put this on a classic piece like I have on today, which has got all the pastel colors running through it as well. Now, pastels can take on a golden tone as well, too. It's really important for us also to point out that pastels can be very nicely accented with shades of yellow. So we don't typically think of yellow. We think of yellow, that bright color of the sun, or those traditional gold colors. But remember, a really great way to accent your pastels is with different shades of yellow and white, too. And so even though I've got this jacket, which has got more of the pinks and the blues and the grays running through it, you can see that it's very easy to be able to put shades of yellow with pastel as well. And you can also wear yellow very easily with shades of blue. And so it's nice to be able to kind of pick up on a complementary color. Here we've got the yellow and the light blue together. And also yellow and pink is a very nice combination as well, too. You can see how pretty this kind of gives you that springy Easter different styling with the different shades of putting yellow with it. Don't forget that one really, really easy way to be able to accessorize with different pieces gravitating towards those yellows is that if you're wearing a soft pastel yellow, sometimes it's fun to be able to add a deeper shade of whatever pastel you're wearing. So for example, if you have on a light lemon color, it's always nice to be able to put something on that's more of a truer shade of the pastel colors that you are. Those look fab with the shoe clips. They're really great look and incredible together. I think so too. So don't forget about being able to use yellow as an accent with your different sorts of shades of pastels too. So this is a great one. This is that little yellow thermoset memory wire bracelet. Uh, and I think that the lovely Felicia in our group actually has the necklace and she wore it with a bright blue color. But don't forget that you can easily be able to wear this with pastel colors as well too. Now, as I'm winding down here, that's exactly what I was going to say as well. We also have this piece, which features both the Aurora Borealis in it. It features the little thermoset leaves. These are all little lace lucite that have been cut out. And this is also set in the silver tone. This piece is on sale right now, so it's an additional 25% off of that as well. And this is another really super fun one that has that very soft lemony yellow instead of that bright yellow, which always goes very nicely with different shades of pastel as well too. So these are just a few of my picks. I actually have an entire tray full of pieces that I would say all go very nicely with pastel jewelry and also go very nicely with pastel styled clothing. And I'm thinking that for some of us, as we are getting ready for spring and spring will come regardless of everything that's going on in the world right now, that many of you will probably wear pink and 
pastel colors when we get ready for that spring season and heading into May. All of the pretty pieces that are perfect with pastels are always very easy to wear when we get invited to go places like baby showers, wedding showers, graduations. Uh, and they also remind us of all of those spring sort of floral bouquet styles that we also enjoy too. But my number one tip for really truly investing in great classic accessories that won't let you down, whether you're wearing bold and primary colors, neutrals or pastels, is to gravitate towards picking up those pieces with the pearly undertone to them. Because they're pieces that you can really truly wear over and over again and enjoy. And it's really nice because because the vintage pieces have such high quality styling to them uh, when you're looking at the pieces that have the pearl undertone. Many of the pearls are glass or they were cut, they were painted in a very, very deep enamel work where there's a lot of luminescence to it. So the pearls are a very high quality, which is why it's so awesome that when you find pieces from 50 years ago, that none of the finish is wearing off on them. Like for example, like this bracelet, you know, so often when we have things rubbing against our skin and we think about what the difference are is the pieces that we're buying today versus the pieces that we were buying back then. And yes, I do know I have one earring on here, a different earring here, and now I'm using a bracelet as an example. But my point being is, is the way that they covered these materials with those pearl finishes over 50 years ago is a much higher quality than the very thin layer that they put over the plastic beads or the plastic coatings today, which is why these pieces are really, really great examples of vintage jewelry that you can match with the pastel clothing that you have hanging in your closet today. So that's kind of my little fun lesson. Um, we see it says, those look fabulous with the shoes as a clip and the shape is really pretty. Yeah, and I think that the shapes and the styles of these pieces also really complement the soft floral designs and the soft sort of fun springy colors that we get when we're looking at the pastel color wheel. So I think that that's something fun to keep in mind when we're talking about things like that little paisley shape um, you know, these pieces sort of mimic the same sort of style and the same sort of light springy glow that you get when we're talking about all the pastel colors. So that's it. That's my show for tonight. Those are my styling tips. Those are my favorite suggestions. I think that it's very easy to pick up pieces of vintage jewelry that already have pastel colors in them, like the Hollycraft pieces. I think that you can never go wrong when you're investing in your whites or your milk glass styles because they're going to go with everything that's hanging in your closet. And I think that it's really easy that if you are somebody that's wearing a solid colored pastel, uh, like I'm using like the blouse or the blue blouse as an example, pick the pieces that have multiple colors running through it and if you're going to wear something like I have on where you've got the blazer going through it this is a great opportunity to pick one of the colors and really accent it uh, in order to really have a very classic but a very distinctive look it's also a really easy way to incorporate those pieces of vintage jewelry that don't look like anything that we else when we find when we're out shopping without feeling like things are either stuck in a time war or too costumey so those are my tips and my suggestions. So I hope that you really enjoy the pieces that I talked about this evening. If you've got questions or there's a suggested piece on the website that you love, since we're spending so much more time hanging out with everybody right now, I'm trying to provide the best quality content that I can and also inspire you to truly look and feel your best right now, um, regardless of what's going on. I know that there are several people who have posted repeatedly about it and I just want to let you know we are a fan of your self-care and your personal style here at the Vintage Meat Modern Styling Society every single day 365 days a year no matter the weather no matter what's going on always about you taking time to celebrate your own personal style because that leads to your own personal sense of confidence. And remember, all of you are more beautiful truly in this world. And the world is a more beautiful place because you are in it. And I do sincerely mean that from the bottom of my heart. I say that not because I have personally struggled with fashion my entire life. In fact, it's the opposite. I have felt that fashion and style has always been a gateway of getting to be your most authentic self. So why not go ahead and do it not just for yourself, but the world around you too?
And it's just so fun to be able to use what you're wearing as an expression, similar to the way that Mr. Michael was drawing all the pictures, of, you know, today. We're so lucky that whether we dress up and we wear three inch heels every day, or if we like being able to wear jackets and things like that, that there are so many different options also out there to be able to express our personal style, no matter what we do and no matter where we go. And I love obviously being able to talk to you all about the jewelry, not just because the jewelry is special and because it's got all these great histories behind it, but let's be honest too, it's true. The jewelry always fits, which is one of my most favorite things about getting to sell it, getting to talk about it, getting to show different ways of wearing it. I love the way that you can invest in one thing and be able to wear it over and over and over again. It's not even like a pair of shoes or a handbag, which we're pretty rough on. So they share like, you know, scuff stories and the heels get worn down and those types of things. The jewelry, when you pull it out of the drawer, can always make you smile because if you take care of it a little, it's always going to take care of you. All right, so that's what we have going on. I want to thank those of you who came here this evening. Uh, we'll probably catch this as the replay later because I think a lot of people are busy eating dinner right now. But we had a really fun time getting to spend some time with each other. I'll be back tomorrow, and tomorrow I'm going to be talking about different things to be able to wear with green, uh, which is a lot of fun. So I'll be talking about different things to go ahead and wear with green. And then I just want to remind everybody, I am talking to Ms. Leanne right now, all things tech behind the scenes about the being able to set us up to have a virtual meetup, which we'll actually get to actually virtually meet up on Monday night. We're going to send a Zoom link out to everybody. And if you've got a camera, you can go ahead and join us and even you can dial in. So if you don't want to be seen on camera, you can't, you don't have to either, but it'll be a no judgment zone. And you can come in your pajamas with your jewelry on, you can come all dressed up with a tiara, uh, but we will have a Monday meetup to hang out out and be here with everybody. So as always, yeah, it is. It's always a pleasure getting to be here with all of you. So everybody have a fantastic night. Uh, I hope that your bellies are full and that you have fun with your family. And I hope that even if you're out there on your own this evening or something like that, at least take time to celebrate all the wonderful things that you've done. All of you have done so many amazing things in your life. And I haven't even gotten to hug y'all in person, but that day will happen soon. So everybody have a fantastic evening and I will see you all again real soon. Bye.